The 1921 race massacre in Tulsa, Oklahoma, was one of the most troubling events in American history. Much of the evidence at the time actually was hidden, but now, a century later, the city is looking to uncover the truth. Today, crews began a second excavation of areas where victims of the massacre are believed to be buried. Workers are searching four areas, including three cemeteries. And tonight, we're joined by the chair of the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre Centennial Commission, Kevin Matthews. He's a current Oklahoma State Senator from the 11th, um, 11th District, excuse me, and former chief officer for the Tulsa Fire Department. Mr. Matthews, thanks so much. Excuse me for being with us. I do appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And real quick, I was, I'm, I'm slightly embarrassed to admit that I didn't know much about this horrific event until watching The Watchmen on HBO and got that background. I want to fill folks in and let you speak to what's going on there. It was back in 1921, obviously, a black man accidentally stepped on the foot of a white woman. She screamed. The man fled, but was later accused of sexual assault and eventually jailed. White mobs later gathered outside the county courthouse there in Tulsa, demanding that the man be released to them. And the massacre then soon started and believed to be 150 to 300 victims killed in this, along with homes and businesses and churches being destroyed. Why isn't this horrific tragedy better known, do you think? Well, we called it Tulsa's dirty secret. Uh, there were elected officials, uh, police chief, uh, and other key people that were involved in it, and they were embarrassed of it and didn't want people to know. And here we are almost 100 years later, where the Oklahoma City bombing caused us to have a federal monument, but nearly twice as many black people died 99 years ago, and we can't even find a tombstone. That's the significance of what we're looking at today, and many people didn't know it. It wasn't even taught in many Oklahoma schools. Wow. And this area that was destroyed back in 1921 was known as Black Wall Street, a successful, uh, affluent black area at the time, particularly for uh, that uh, era in American history. There was an excavation back in July. This is the second round. What is different about this second round than the first, and exactly what are you hoping to find to kind of honor or at least to fully understand this dark part of history? Well, first, I want to thank our city councilor, Vanessa Hall Harper, and the mayor, G.T. Bynum, for bringing forth this opportunity. And secondly, you know, just think of yourself. If you had a loved one to die and you never found the body and were never able to uh, have that soul to have peace, we have... Like you said, nearly 300 people died, and many of those bodies have never been found. And so, uh, you know, it's, this is sacred ground. Uh, those bodies are sacred to us, and many people just want to put those souls to rest. And if bodies are found, I know it's a grim question, then what? Well, uh, that's a difficult question because we're also a Native American community uh, where uh, Native Americans don't believe in bothering uh, bodies of those that have passed away. And so we're in a tricky situation as to whether or not uh, the bodies found or have Native American blood, whether they belong to a tribe or not. And so uh, right now, they won't be disturbed until those decisions are made even if they're found. <sighs> Mr. Matthews, thanks so much for being with us tonight again. This is not uh, an area that I, I don't remember studying in school or, or hearing about much, but certainly we need to be aware of what happened in Tulsa back in 1921. And please come back on the show and update us as uh, this endeavor uh, progresses. We'd love to be able to follow it and, and enlighten people as to what happened. And then, obviously, on top of that, the results of this latest endeavor. To learn more, go to www.tulsa2021.org. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you.